Hello viewers, I decided to make one more video about the tree model of the turbine and this this time I will explain a little bit more in detail how everything is assembled and um, how much parts do we have and uh, how to mount it in uh, when you prepare those parts. It will be especially good for those one who want to, to build this turbine that I help them to understand because it's not so easy to to understand how this spins and now you'll see that it's, it's, it is actually really simple yeah so what do we have so at the bottom we have the main support yeah so on this support this support will be mounted on some pillar maybe three four meters high uh, on which whole set will be mounted yeah and what also is mounted on this so, so uh, lower support yeah on this brown lower support we, uh, we are going to screw with the rods our stator yeah our stator with the coils so this blue part let me just turn it a little bit around so this is our stator uh, with coils which will be through these holes over here uh, screwed to this main support yeah and this is how the stator is mounted and now see how we how how about a rotor yeah so rotor is of course uh, consisted of two this is one this is another rotor you know, with magnets in the middle are spacers for separation yeah? and in the in the top is the spinning mechanism which is mounted on this in the in between this uh, gray part which is the conical shape of the last um, shaft of a car now let me do the show you a little bit closer so so let me repeat again yeah so maybe from this part you will understand better so this is the main uh, the lower support on which we screw the stator with coils and then we have these two one and two rotors with magnets which are through through this uh, so this screws which are the spacers with these spacers are screwed to this main shaft mechanism in the middle yeah so lower rotor upper rotor and spacers in between this this where I selecting right now are screwed to this middle part I will now zoom it uh, you know now you can see on this middle part yeah in in between yeah so 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 this is the spinning mechanism so this is this is what actually spins yeah uh, on this middle part, this conical shape, yeah, there are two conical bearings, and when you put this on these bearings, this main shaft, yeah, from the on the center, it will spin. Everything will spin. So rotor, uh, so magnets will spin around the stator, yeah, and this is how we create a generator. And at the top, we have one more component, which is our support for the wings, and uh, this this support is also connected through these holes over here to these holes over there uh, below and um, this is actually a car braking disc which is connected to this uh, spinning mechanism which is on the car yeah, car wheel yeah? and we need another set of holes over here and over here which is for connecting of a rotor yeah? so this is, this, is, this is additional holes we have to drill apart from these original ones yeah? these original ones are from the car braking discs on this me on this mechanism and we need another set of these holes yeah? let me spin a little bit yeah, yeah, maybe you see better another set of holes is to screw the rotor on this same mechanism and at the top is on the braking disc we of course weld our support on which we will mount our wings and this is it this is complete turbine complete mechanism it consists of just several parts so if I just shortly repeat again we have a main support which will be mounted or support pillar custom made on this support will be mounted our stator and on this uh, middle side and in the middle is the spinning uh, spinning mechanism yeah, with the conical shape uh, middle part and the upper part which is spinning mechanism with two conical bearings on which we will mount two rotors which with magnets and this is it this is the complete mystery of this magical turbine so 
Thanks for watching. I hope this will help the people who will build uh, this turbine to understand how it's how actually it works because it's not so simple when you see the assembled part. Thanks for watching. Until next video.